Did you hear it? What? So in this ride, I packed my gear up and took off over the Interstate 80's highest pass, which is Sherman Hill, and I dropped into Laramie. Wait, that's not footage of Sherman Hill. Okay, I admit it. That's not Interstate 80. <laughs> that, that footage is from a different ride. But hey, it's more entertaining than the Interstate. But it was highest point on Interstate 80, um, dropping over for Sherman Hill and then down into Laramie, Wyoming, where I met Cody at the gas station. Once we fueled up, we headed towards Centennial, Wyoming, which led us into the snowy range. Uh, Gonna bring the GoPros on this trip because it was kind of a throw together ride to break in Cody's new Aprilia. And we, yeah, this is a multi day ride, so we spent our, spent our first night at, uh, just up the mountain from Centennial and froze our butts off because we got there late. Um, I couldn't leave till late in the day. And it got cold where we camped, and we didn't set up camp, really. We didn't set up any type of shelter. We just threw our sleeping bags out on the ground. Froze our butts off, didn't really sleep at all. So we got up super early, dragged our feet packing up camp, and then rode over the top of the snowy range in the night. It actually got warmer as we went over the mountain. And the peak was way warmer than where we camped, and it got warmer as we dropped down the other side of the snowy range. So, we dropped down the other side of the snowy range into Saratoga. We caught the hot springs before the sun came up. Beautiful morning here at Saratoga Hot Springs. Sun's just uh, behind the mountains still. Probably come up in the next 20. Um, perfect morning for a dip. After a very nice soak in the hot springs that helped make up for the complete lack of sleep, we grabbed breakfast. That's the best breakfast spot ever. Here on the North Platte, Saratoga, it's a beautiful morning. <laughs> After breakfast, we fueled up and we headed out again. This time we're heading to the next mountain range. Everything was off road from this point. Hey, my brother here on our nice new Aprilia motorcycles in front of the shack we were raised in as kids. 
Mama raised us in there. Eight other kids growing up here in Wyoming. Winters were rough out here on the Windy Prairie, but we survived. It just made us better men. Snowy range over there. Across this prairie. We don't have a lot of actual riding footage in this video. There is a little bit, obviously, but I broke the tripod early on and I was using my phone to record. Neither one of us bring the GoPros. This was kind of a thrown together ride because Cody had just rushed down and bought a bike. And so yeah, let's go break it in. And that's exactly what we did. coming out of the prairies after we came through the snowies over there and coming up out of the prairie now into the Sierra Madre range. Taking a brief break here at the Jack Creek Guard Station in the Sierra Madre range. Beautiful views. Been some great riding today and it's not near as hot as they forecasted. I love how the Wyoming weather can change on a dime like that. It's perfect riding weather. A little windy out on the prairie, but just perfect breeze out here in the mountains. Loving it. So this ride wasn't just breaking in Cody's bike, um, but it also helped us determine how we were going to accessorize these bikes, what gear we needed, um, if the gear we had was going to work or not that we'd just thrown over from the other bikes. And if you've seen some of our other videos, you know that uh, this gear didn't really work out and we've switched things up. If you haven't seen them, go watch them. So we kind of made an unexpected stop here. Cody hit his horn and I uh, noticed my bag looks like it's about to rub the tire and sure enough looking under there it has rubbed the tire a few times um i'm gonna have to do something about that <laughs> yeah too many tools in that bag <laughs> i have to do something to distribute the weight a little better we spent the better part of the day wandering around Sierra Madres. We ended up finally getting some directions from one of the local game wardens that told us about a trail that was a little more challenging, um, the way she put it, uh, when I asked her if it was something for four-wheel drives, and she said, oh no, I wouldn't take my four-wheel drive down that. And, uh, Cody was a bit hesitant, and I said, well, let's let's give it a shot. We can always turn around. If we can. Turned out to be the best choice we made going down that trail. Lost the trail for a minute, but there it is. Some layers, because it's getting hot out here. Um, we've got out in the open now of the trees, so this, this trail is still kind of fun, not very not very used trails you can see and a few places where we're catching air and stuff sorry i'm not stopping to record broke the tripod um <laughs> cody's bike decided it was tired after that last jump and took a, a little dirt nap when he bring it to a stop against the rut um just yeah just a little dirt on it nothing major but yeah we're having fun <laughs> Out here in the Sierra Madres. Riding, middle of nowhere. Yeah. Trying to go find some water. We're gonna have lunch. So we've come to another gate. Um, no signs or anything here, but man, look at this view. Uh, isn't that gorgeous? So we just came down. And 
It's just beautiful out here. Love it. the gate behind us. So this this is just an epic ride you guys. Look at the views we're rewarded with this road. Just came down that rocky face there. It's kind of so this is cool. I'd call it intermediate um to, yeah I guess it depends on your level for people that are experienced off-roaders intermediate. A beginner then call it expert whatever. But man, isn't that just gorgeous? <laughs> right in the range line. Oh, just beautiful day, beautiful riding. This is what it's all about. Yeah, we're gonna make it down this steep hill here, I hope. <laughs> got some gnarly right in the head. I won't be recording, sorry. So coming down that ridge line was pretty freaking awesome, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. A lot of baby, cool, yeah, yeah, some baby heads and loose stuff. And uh, I mean, this trail hasn't been ridden much in a while. We saw some other tracks, looked like a four-wheeler or side-by-side -side maybe, a narrow one. Uh, it looks like not much else has been through here in a while, obviously. We're getting down towards the bottom of the... Now, uh, getting close to the river. So It's like a jungle. It's freaking dropping down, you know, and then we're going to go into the desert. Uh, just hitting every type of terrain today from, you know, alpines to ridge lines and practically jungle and desert next, man. Loving it. How about you? Oh, I'm loving it. A lot of fun. So glad I got out here. So glad to do it. Especially with you, brother. Yeah, it's awesome. We're gonna shut shut off filming while we ride, because, yeah, this ain't the kind of stuff to try and film and ride. And sorry I didn't bring the GoPro to mount. Maybe next time. <laughs> So, I don't think we're going to do this crossing since we don't have crash bars. If we don't have to anyway. It looks a little bit deep. If a truck came through and we saw how deep it was, or a side-by-side -side or four-wheeler or something, I might have more confidence in that. But, and if I had crash bars on. But they're on order, just waiting for them. So... Maybe we'll come back to the spot in the future and show you the in, intense water crossing here because uh, that looks pretty deep. Out here, uh, kind of out of nowhere, Wyoming. What do you have there, though? As we rode into the evening and out of the east end of the Sierra Madres, we stopped in Bags, Wyoming, and fueled up. Then we Headed out, chasing the sunset in the Red Desert.
So as we got deeper into the Red Desert, not only did we see some wildlife, including these wild horses, but we also ran into what you would expect in a desert. Sand. And plenty of it, which, you know, with these 50-50 tires made things a challenge. So there was a few miles of very, very slow rolling for us with these 50-50 tires. Miles and miles of sand. Looks like we might be out of the sand soon, hopefully. The slow rolling. <laughs> Cool terrain, Walk and waddling the bikes through sand continued for several miles. I thought we were going higher getting out of the sand, but no, it's just steep sand hills. hill climbs there. That's a lot of fun, but hell of a challenge. By the time we got to Adobe Town, we'd been riding that day for, I don't know, at least 14 hours, I believe. Really lost track of time, had not slept the night before, and yeah, it, it was a really long day. We were just exhausted. Both. Cody's oh, bike got exhausted oh. too. Decided to lay down and take a nap yes, uh, on the trip. So I had to wake it up for him. There you go. You almost you got it. So we are in Adobe Town, Wyoming. In the middle of the Red Desert. Uh, to ride here, you go through a lot of sand with rocks and rocks with sand, and then some more sand with rocks, and then some more rocks with sand. Yeah, maybe not these tires. They don't have the best sand tires, but the bikes did good. The, the tires are not so great in the sand. But hey, look at that. Look at that view. Hopefully we don't get rained on because we're in the desert and there's, you know, if it rains, it could be some bad washes. So we're going to see if we can find a place where we won't get washed out, but where we're still sheltered from the wind. That's asking a lot out here in the desert. But let's see what we can find. So we're we're uh, in Adobe Town, miles and freaking miles and miles and miles from anything. Uh, yeah, just coming out of Adobe Town, I guess. And uh, so we're gonna set up camp here. Sun's set over there to the west, and. Uh, we're tired. Been a long day, freaking a lot of epic riding and some struggles. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna set up camp here. I'm just gonna throw a tarp across both bikes to build a little lean to. Show you when it's done. So here we are. Here's our makeshift shelter. Um, under 
over here. Okay, that's uh, plenty of room. After no sleep the night before and a long day of riding, we slept really well. Well, at least Cody did. Mm. Carl kept waking up to Cody snoring. Mm. Things were going pretty well, and Carl was able to get back to sleep a few times until this happened. Do you hear it? What? Listen. Listen carefully. The wind. It's safe. Get up and ride. What time is it? Just getting light. We got camp all packed up and uh, my battery's about dead, so this might be the last video of the trip. We're gonna try and get out of the red desert here and freaking have another epic day riding. It was a good night. I wasn't really sure how long the battery on my phone was going to last. I wasn't able to charge it, but I was able to take some more photos and a few video clips, as you can see. So we're following the trail. We're a little off track, I think, from where we're supposed to be. But man, look at these views. This is just epic. What a morning. deep sand, soft sand for, you know, maybe a quarter mile, and every, every uh, dip and corner, we're afraid we're going to run into it again, so just kind of taking it easy, but it is gorgeous out this morning, what a ride, loving this, loving it. Just after sunrise, I don't know if you can see the old fort there, we made it to the old fort, old stage stop. That's about it. That's about it for the battery on my thing. And I think it's maintained road from here on out. So it'll be nice. What is it? Fort Delaney or something like that? Fort. Something. Fort I don't know. It's an old stage stop, old fort uh, ruins here. But yeah, beautiful morning. Nice and fast and flowy right along this ridge line. We kept riding out of the red desert as the sun came up and caught some more epic views. We made our way through the red desert and then followed up the ridge line to Delaney Point.
the views along the ridge line and at Delaney Point were fantastic. It had been a great couple of days ride. And we loved every minute of it. Can't beat the scenery out here in Wyoming. From there, we finished our ride by heading into the town of Wompsetter and beelining it home from there uh, due to obligations that we had to meet. We hope you enjoyed coming along on this ride to break in Cody's bike. And stay tuned for the next one because it's going to be even more epic and the footage will definitely be better. Thanks for watching.